Ladies and gentlemen, you join me back at the inn, and it's time to eat some food. Oh, it's just Banshee Tears. Well, everyone's going hungry today. What, you know, yeah, no, 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 you know what? Everyone's gonna have some Banshee Tears, because they can do with eating some stuff. Hey, he really likes the Banshee Tears, that's great. So, last time, uh, we made it here. Oh, wow, Sean really likes the uh, Magic Banshee Tears, plus, or whatever they were. Uh, let's give some to uh, Sophie as well. Not that tasty. She don't like it. Okay, now let's let's head out. I got three more game tickets from doing the uh, the quiz thing, so that's fantastic. We'll we'll do that in a little bit. Can we afford Chef's Dagger? No, you can't afford that. We don't have enough money for a silver staff, I'm afraid. And you just want a hit point banana. Oh, that looks super cool. Oh, I look, I want that. All right, I will tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna set off, and we're gonna see where we can get to this time because I really want to make it to the castle. I think it'll be awesome if we can make it to the castle today. That would be great. All right, let's head to see this guy who looks like a Koopaling, but he's probably a good guy. <laughs> Onwards, yes. Okay, let's give it a bit of a sprint. Don't say that. Now oh, we got monsters first. Okay, have we got anything new? No, just, oh, smile shrooms and banshees, okay. We'd like to take out the smile shrooms first, if possible, because they're just a bit of a pain. Um, which is probably going to be good, because, yeah, oh, I was going to say, it looks like she's going to target on the banshees. Spoon is showing off. Nice, taking out that smile shroom. And I will do the same to that smile shroom. And in fact, that last banshee over there has taken quite a bit of damage. Crocodile tears. Oh, it worked. Let's move you over to the safe spot. So someone in episode 6 said that when... Um, you get mad of a teammate, apparently putting them in the safe spot can help bring them out of it. I'm not so sure about that, but I will give it a try next time it happens, because it seems like it's going to happen. Good job, uh, Lily, Sophie, S Sophie, I always forget which one's which. I'm having a rest, and stop crying. <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, what's up with, what's up with Sophie? Or Lily, I always get them confused, wow, it's not that difficult to not confuse them. Very surprised that Sean didn't try and cook up some food. Okay, she's healing herself. Oh, no, she's not. She's healing Sophie. Fantastic. My friendship goes up. Yay. All right. Okay, that's one more Banshee out. That's 100 faces rescued. Wow. Doesn't seem like that long ago we rescued 50, but never mind. Okay, Team Sophie wins. Awesome. I wonder why it was Team Sophie that time. Maybe she did the best. Okay. Hey, I leveled up to level 7. Awesome. Hey, four extra hit points is pretty good. Learn Slap. Snap a friend out of it when they're not themselves. Automatic. Okay. We got some mushroom saute as well. Sweet. Uh, slapping out of it could be quite good. Uh, so maybe it'll sna uh, slap you out of the crocodile tears if there's like more than one. Because obviously if there's just one... Oh, here we go. If there's just one person who's um, like in a weird mood... Oh, that should, that should do a lot of damage, right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, if there's just one person that's in a weird mood, then surely... Um, you just move them into the safe spot. But if there's more than one that's in a weird mood, you move one of them to the safe spot and then maybe uh, Dale can slap them out of it. I don't know. <laughs> Aha! You shall not harm the bee, but you will the second time. That's annoying. Yeah, slap it with a frying pan. Cook up something good. Okay, they're all going to start attacking. Energetic. Okay, let's go. Wow. That was a charge attack. Ouch. Yippee. Okay, Lily is showing off. Fantastic, good job, you killed it. One more to go. And Spoon is showing off as well, and there goes the jelly. All right. Everyone's level two friendship, which is pretty sweet. Get in. <laughs> Spoon leveled up as well. That's pretty great. Does he learn anything new? Nope. 60 gold, not really uh, like a lot of money, but hey ho, doesn't matter. Uh, ah, here we go, cutscene time, or something. Um, okay. Om nom nom. This, this is such a mild flavored bouquet with a subtle balance of sweetness. Even the aftertaste is heavenly, like a gust of fresh wind rushing from the hills. Oh, good day. I am the Roman gourmet Bowser Junior. <laughs> uh, the the hottest hotte cuisine moves me to e ecstasies of emotion. I have no idea how to pronounce half of that. Obviously, I know how to pronounce most of it, but I must share this bliss with you. Ah, very rare cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. Cheesecake is like one of my favorite desserts. Oh, salted caramel cheesecake. Oh, and we found an inn. Fantastic. Okay, through we go. 
Let's see how... Ev oh, we've rescued 100 people. <gasps> Gift of divine power. Yay. Oh, wait, it was going to be like... Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I've Ah, and the MP sprinkles upgrade. From 10 to 15. Okay. The gratitude of the people has awakened a new power within you. Truly, you are a beacon of hope for all of Metopia. All right, you may continue smiting monsters. Oh, and you'll get your next perk once you reach 150 people. Chop, chop. Ho, ho, ho. 150. Seems like this game is pretty extensive, which is fantastic. It's just the game I was hoping to play. Um, okay. We have cheesecake. We've only got three. I think I'm going to feed... Oh, wait, random. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty great. Top nosh. Can we do it again? Oh, we can. Hey, I didn't realize there was a random button there. That's that's pretty handy. Top notch. <laughs> that really helps stuff out a bit. Okay, let's go into the... Uh... Ooh, let's get Sean. Oh, we don't have enough for polka dot uniform. You know what? We're going we're gonna to try rock, paper, scissors. We're going to get Sean a new polka dot uniform. Yes, I do. you got 500G for anyone that can beat me. So come on, kid, give us your best shot. It'll only cost one game ticket. Now, if my theory is correct, last time I think I went rock... So I think I need to go scissors. I can't remember. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, it's a draw. Scissors. Oh, I'm gonna go paper this time. I, I meant to go paper, but that was bad. Rock. Are you kidding me? Scissors. Oh no! That was insane. That was like four draws in a row. Definitely wanna do it again, and we can speed through it. That's pretty good. Because I don't like waiting. Waiting sucks. I'm going to go straight for paper. Paper. Oh, okay. Rock. Yes! 500 gold. Just what I wanted. Boom. Okay, speed through it. No. Not going to happen. Fancy bashing it? No. Sensible type. Here, take your money and run with it. Yeah. Good me. There we go. 907. So maybe doing rock, paper, scissors every now and then isn't a bad idea. Actually, let's take a look at the roulette, see what we can win. Um, chef's dagger. That would be for Sophie. In fact, look at look at the chance we have to get the chef's dagger. I'm just going to take it because... Uh, why Why does Sophie... No, not Sophie. Yeah, it is Sophie. Why does Sophie get all of the um, the like stuff from the roulette? It's insane. Okay, congrats. You won chef's dagger. Yeah, of course, we're going to give it to Sophie. <laughs> Puts it up from 21 to 26. The polka dot looks so freaky. Okay, we've got enough to, to send Sean on his uh, his way to find a polka dot chef's uniform. So let's do it. We might even have enough to get Lily a new staff as well. Hey, there we go. That looks pretty slick. Uh, what about like a green? No, dark blue. Ooh, that's... Look at that teal. How about that? Okay, let's try and send uh, Sophie away. No, Lily, damn it. Lily away to get a silver staff. What she bring back? Silver staff. Fantastic. Okay, awesome. So that puts up attack by five and def uh, magic by five as well. That will surely be helpful. Plus, now she doesn't have the weird little rubber thing. All right, let's go on our way. Let's carry on going towards the castle because I'm pretty sure that now we can get there, which is going to be great. Five different types of uniform. The preferred clothing of the chef. Okay. Interesting. Let's go. Up to the castle? Yes. Okay, we can finally get to the castle and see what this is all about. And probably make a really great thumbnail. <laughs> and are we going to go there instantly? Oh, Greenhorn's King, a much-loved gentle giant with a large appetite. And the princess, fairest in the land, the king's only daughter, harbors a secret love. A prince of next door. Ah, uh -huh, get it? Next door. And the princess's fiance, arrogant but loves his mumsy. Grew up with the princess but now rarely gets the chance to see her. Okay. This could take a while. Okay, I'm gonna cast all these and I will be right back. Okay, so here we have it. The king, I have made my good friend Clefanotes, also known as Chris Wanfer. Um, <laughs> bit of an ironic one actually, because I know for a fact that this king is huge, <laughs> but 
like Chris is one of the skinniest guys I know and his me also is tiny he's not actually like short in real life but his me is tiny so it's kind of ironic uh, then we have two subscribers je, je, I guess je. I don't know if you're watching please tell me how to pronounce your name that would be fantastic and Noel um, and then we have my friend Alex who is going to be the uh, the pauper it would seem the roles have been assigned here we go let's see what comes of this I'm at the castle Greenhorn Castle how much of this can we steal? What do you say? Hey, it's Nick Cage. <laughs> this is King Claffer's castle. Mind your manners. It's a minion, really. All the king does is eat all day. Goes to show what peaceful kingdom we are. Okay, uh, oh. Did I just walk out of the castle? I just walked out of the castle. Let me back in, please. I need to go in here and speak to the king. I must, re I request an audience with the king immediately in my bee costume and with my bee sword. Do we get a cool cutscene? Yeah, we get a somewhat of a cutscene. Welcome, Traveller. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's great. King Cleffer. What business have you here? The Dark Lord attacked Greenhorn Town. Is that it? And this miscreant stole the people's faces, you say? Pfft. All of, of all the ridiculous stories. Derp. Wait, what? He just stole the king's face? Really? <laughs> Not such a ridiculous story now, is it? The king's face has been stolen. <laughs> okay, whereabouts does it go to? Wow. That's quite far indeed. Okay, go and save the king. We shall do that. We shall do that now. I wonder if... What do you got to say? Trinian. Uh, or Trinan. I have but one job. I support the king. No matter how weighty it may be. What do you say? You look rather strict. Satan. Oh, great. Satan. <laughs> A lot of work supporting the king. You've got to stay in shape. You don't want to throw your back out. Ah. Oh, can I even go out this way? Oh, he's just said explanation. It seems you can't go in. Do you want me to save your butt or not? Okay. Let's head out, I guess, and <laughs> try and save the king. Seems like we can go quite far. Into the woods we go. All right, this will probably be the last area we enter for the uh, for the episode. Onwards to save the king of Greenhorn. Full steam ahead. And straight away we're coming across. Oh, is it gonna be a boss? HP bananas are delish. So soft, so squishy. Sweet, but not sickly. I could eat them all day, every day. They're not actually going to do anything with that information. <laughs> They're just going to to talk. That's the spirit, you don't say. Ah, monsters. Finally, something for us to do on this journey. A banshee and some sort of, oh, it's a mole. I was gonna say some sort of a mole, but it is a mole. Off target, okay, so the mole can duck and dip. Okay, good to know. Ah, wrong target. Bang, caught it off guard. Just gonna throw a rock. Ooh, wow. That was, that was a bit painful. Oh, laid back work. Nah. Spoon isn't bothered. <laughs> Great. Home cooking. Gonna heal up Lily there. Tuck in. Nom, nom, nom. Right, come on, people, with your uh, extra defense. Oh, growing closer. Fantastic. They're gonna go to level three. Oh, level four. Okay. Maybe sort of likes. Concern. Okay, good, good, good. Solid friend when they're taking a hit. Okay, time for me to attack. I'm going to try and attack the mole. There we go, got it. And rescued it. Or well, the face that was on it, anyway. Okay, Banshee should go down fairly quickly. Lily is showing off. Sophie is showing off. Again, I said it again. Wow, Banshee's going to attack uh, Lily there. Everyone's just going to be called Lily from now on. Okay, the Banshee is down. Team Dazza wins. It's 109 rescued. Pretty crazy. Alright, next. Boom. Okay, level 7 for Lily and Sophie. That's great. Any new quirks? Or sk skills? Ah! Re resurrection. Revive a fallen friend using curative powers. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, maybe we won't use it when we got life sprinkles, but... I guess we could save the life sprinkles for Lily. Oh! Oh, found a potion bottle. Nope. Stubborn. What? He threw it away. What? No! What? I wanted to see what the potion did. My nose is all stuffy. Ah. Oh. Now we're going to see what it was now. Okay, it looks like we're near the end of the the, the journey here. 
Oh, two moles and some apple jellies. Okay, Sophie's showing off, which is fantastic. She managed to hit everyone. <laughs> that was so, like, such a good sound. It's really satisfying. So she's just playing around. I'm going to guard this. You're not going to hurt me that much anyway. Six. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, am I going to do it again? Okay. Interesting. Those moles are kind of freaky, I'm not going to lie. Let's hit that mole at the end, since it's kind of low on health. Spoon is showing off for Sophie. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah, for Sophie. That's fantastic. Good job, Spoon. Wow. <laughs> okay. Just taking some hits. Taking some more hits. It's fine. Lily is playing with the apple jelly. It's fine. Spoon is ready to take on the world. That's fantastic. Take out that mole in one hit. Jeez. Okay. Healing me. Thank you. I mean, that, that mole was a little bit damaged from uh, Sophie's original attack, but Spoon just completely wrecked it. Okay. Two more apple jellies remain. One with a nose on. Um, you know what? And the other with a face. Oh, mouth. Let's just go for the one with a nose, because I'm pretty sure I can take it out. And then... Nice dazzle. Wow! <laughs> and then it should be taken out. There we go. And good job for falling over, Sophie. Okay. <laughs> Team Sophie wins. Uh, what a breeze. Indeed. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, a Strata Sunday. Is that from the mole? That's pretty interesting. And we found an inn. So that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Metopia. Hey, Dale and uh, Lily just grew closer. That's good. <laughs> just with the stupid bee uniform. Oh, my goodness. Uh, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Metopia. Join me next time when we're going to try and save the king's face and see how all of those characters act and interact with each other. Okay. Thanks once again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.